Developments tonight in a News 4 investigation. Students claim they're just having a good time, but for one Buffalo neighborhood, that good time is their worst nightmare. Hundreds of drunk students filled University Heights on the weekends. Per permanent residents have been asking for help, and finally, someone is doing something about it. News 4's Lou Raguse joins us with more on this. Lou? Jackie, this is Common Council Member Rashid Wyatt's first year representing the University District, and what he saw Saturday night was enough for him to put for legislation. <laughs> Saturday night, the same night I ventured into the party zone in the University Heights neighborhood to shoot this footage. We're just having a good time. We visit fraternity houses. Rashid Wyatt was doing the same. It really kind of blew my mind. The University District Common Council member who took office in January has received dozens of complaints from permanent residents about the out of control student partying. But he wanted to see the problem for himself. And as I went up Northrop Avenue and saw three parties where there had to be more than uh, 400, 500 kids, um, really showed me the real issue. Wyatt couldn't believe how many of the students openly tipping back alcohol were under the legal age to drink. He started asking to see IDs. Then they got a little bit belligerent because one of the young men who, when I asked him the question about how old he was and he had a bottle of beer in his hand, he ran, tried to run away from me. I said, sir, I want to know how old are you? He just ran away. And then some other guy wants to tell me that he's going to punch me in the head. The councilman made it out without getting punched. Now back at work, he's going to do something about it. He plans on introducing legislation immediately to restrict the number of people allowed in a house. He thinks it'll give police another tool to prevent and break up the huge parties by going after the landlords of the party houses. And it seems as though they turn on a deaf ear and they do nothing. The neighbors' complaints don't stop with the noise on the weekends. Evidence of the parties still litters their neighborhood. Mickey Vertino, president of the University Heights Collaborative, has been bringing attention to the issue for the last couple years. But he's hopeful that this year there will finally be some change. We're all working together. There was a disconnect there for a while and a little bit of pointing fingers. And I don't see that happening right now. Now, you heard the council members say he's taking on the party problem, but what about the University of Buffalo and Buffalo Police? What, if anything, are they doing different? I'll show you coming up at 6. Reporting live, Lou Raguse, News 4 at 530.